agitators. That's what I see. You've got your white ones, your black ones. Everybody is is, is in, involved. And you, hey, Asian ones. Remember that little chick that came out and said that if you she'd stab you if you were a white person that didn't agree with Black Lives Matter. See, so even Asians, really the last people to, to chime in on anything, and even they are being represented in the hate, hate farm 2020. Everybody's angry, everybody's mad. It's been fomented by the tribe, man. Who else, guys? Who else wants this to continue? Don't you just want to get up and do what you were doing? Don't you want to get up every day and, and go about the business of you being you? You know, a lot of people will say, hey, you know, you're working in the system for them anyway, man. We don't know. No, listen, no. People with idle hands do stupid shit, okay? So if you don't have a job and if you don't have something to do every day to keep yourself busy, what you're going to do is... You're going to go out and you're going to, hey, they're going to show you what you need to be doing. And they're going to show these young black kids, hey, go out in the streets and do this and do that. And they're going to show the white kids, hey, it's hopeless for you. It's hopeless. You should just stay in your house and play your video games and forget your life. Don't worry about going out and making babies. Don't worry about going out and being people in this society. Because look at the society anyway. It's in total disarray. It's in hell. You know, guys, it's pretty easy to see what's been going on now. You bust these people into different locations, turn on the lights, start their chants and their mantras up and get everybody mad. Drive a car through a crowd. <laughs> guys, they're playing us like a violin. And the end game... It's a complete disarmament of the American people. And the complete, you know, the death of the people's pride and their wills. And in every Western country, they broke, us, they broke us down, didn't they? They're trying as hard as they can. Look at it, infighting, everything. It's just out of control. And it's supposed to be. George Bush, back in 1991, said there'd be, you know, the fifth objective, order out of chaos. Well, they create this chaos, and that's what your Soros money's for, and that's what all these cameras are for, to create this chaos, okay? You get people pumped up with all their little different things they learned. You send these kids to, you know, tribal colleges to learn how their people weren't shit and there was systemic racism and all the terms they use. <laughs> and they teach the kids that. And your 501c3 churches take God out of the equation in a supposed house of God. And they teach the people that they, <laughs> they aren't shit and that they need to you know, bow down to the government they do this everywhere and they indoctrinate everyone. So by the time 2020 rolls around, everyone's primed for something. They don't even know what they're primed for, but they're primed. And then the mantras start coming, like I said, in the streets. And the banners start coming out. People start arguing. The night falls on the location and then the places start getting burned. Cameras come on, show that, perpetuates on itself like we've been seeing. And they throw a new wrinkle into it every, every few days. Just something else to keep the people off balance. Many people are waking up to it, you know? They're like, hey, this is obvious, man. Very obvious what's going on, right? Those same people are going to put that mask on, though. Those same people that are telling you, how easy it is to just get along and to, guys, it, this system is not designed to get along anymore. They, if you're not fighting with each other, then you're not, it's, something's wrong with you, huh? If you just want to get along and say, hey, you know, I was just trying to raise a family or I was just trying to get along in this world, you know, no way, no way. <laughs>